In this lesson, we're going to install Sony Acid Pro 6.0. I've created several folders which will help us follow through the process. The first is preparation. We should uninstall any older versions or trial versions of Sony Acid Pro. Next, you should uninstall anything that came with it, such as Native Instruments Compact Acid Pro Edition. You should also uninstall the Microsoft SQL Server Desktop Engine, which is used by the Sony Media Manager, and then reboot. I've already completed all of these steps. Next is Folder Cleanup. I've created shortcuts to several folders on my hard drive, which may contain data left over from these previous installations. I'm going to go into each one and look for Sony information. You can tell where I am by looking at the address bar. I'm in the Documents and Settings folder, All Users, Application Data. There's nothing Sony here, so I'm going to go back and now go into my username, Local Settings, Application Data. Looking for anything to do with Sony and deleting it. Now, if you have other Sony applications installed on your hard drive, you might want to be a little more careful. But since I'm only dealing with Acid Pro, I can delete every Sony folder I see. Now I am in Corel Application Data. Looking for more Sony and deleting. Application History is next, which contains several files. I'm going to select and delete. Now I'm going into the Program Files directory and looking for Microsoft SQL Server, deleting that, and Sony. Finally, any temporary files that you have, it's always a good idea to delete those. Now for deleting a service. Navigate to your Start menu, Settings, Control Panel, and then open up Administrative Tools. Launch Services. I'm going to look to see if there are three SQL Server services that are installed. This is the Sony Media Manager service. And you'll notice I can't delete it or uninstall it from here, but I can verify that it's here. Looking for this one, SQL Server AD Helper, one down below called SQL Agent Sody Media Manager. And now, going to open up the command prompt, going to enter SC space delete, and then this string. I'm just going to copy and paste in my command prompt window. This will delete each of these three services. Okay, when you're finished, you can close out your command prompt. Now we need to do some registry editing. I've got some notes here which will help us along the way. Go to Start, Run, and enter R-E-G-E-D-I-T. Press OK. That opens the registry editor. You want to be very careful while doing this step. We need to find this key. HKEY Local Machine Software Microsoft Microsoft SQL Server. Click the plus besides each name. And scroll down till you see the key we're looking for. There. You can see in the status bar we're looking at HKEY Local Machine Software Microsoft Microsoft SQL Server. Hit your delete key and confirm. Now close out the registry editor. Finally, we'll need to reboot. And that will end this initial preparation stage. Now this is only important if you've had a prior installation of Sony Acid Pro on your system. Okay, I'm going to reboot and I'll see you back on the other side. Okay, I rebooted. Let's continue 
to get ready to install ACID. First, turn off any antivirus software you may have running and your firewall. I'm using PC Cillin and the Windows Firewall. Next, if you do not have Microsoft's .NET Framework installed, you'll need to install it. It's located on the ACID Pro distribution DVD. In the Extras folder, you'll need to reboot and then install the Service Pack 1 and reboot again. Then you'll be ready to install ACID Pro. But I think that's all we have time for in this lesson. We'll continue installing Sony ACID Pro in the next lesson.